Hey, how's it going? It's Jonathan Miller. Let's go for a drive. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. The end of the video, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up and hit that bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Today I'm at the Porsche Specialist in Broomall, Pennsylvania. They are European car specialists. The owner is a former Porsche uh, mechanic, worked at dealerships for 20, 30 years or so. Carrera GT certified, I've worked with him since about 2006, so he's really, really good. Uh, we got along well, he does amazing work. And uh, we're here today with my 2015 Volkswagen GTI and we're gonna show you guys how you do an oil change on this car. A quick look at the engine bay here. Air filter, air intake, ECU, I believe these are all the fuses, batteries up front, brake fluid reservoir, coolant as you said, dipstick, turbos in the back. The first step for changing the oil in a GTI because the oil pan is composite, uh, the easiest way to do it is to suck the oil out. So we've got a tube down into the oil pan and we've got this contraption here. What would you call that? Evacuator. Evacuator. Yeah. Oil evacuator. So we'll get hooked up to an airline and it will suck all the oil out. So it's sucking out about six quarts, that's what we'll fill it with. And uh, we'll check to make sure that the oil level is uh, good. So we'll do that later once uh, all the oil is sucked out here. Yeah, when I first heard about it, I can't say I was a big fan. I'm a fan of a drain plug that yeah. you can remove and drain oil. But it, it works well. I mean, you know, we've, uh, we've actually pulled, like evacuated the oil like this, and then um, and then put the car up in the air and pulled the drain plug just to see. Nothing. Like, yeah. Yeah, so it, it does typically work pretty well. So you notice that the 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder on the GTI actually has a dipstick. We were just, I was just talking to Kevin here. Uh, most cars, new cars don't, it's all electronic. And he was just telling me how on the new Cayenne and Panameras, it's a whole process. You actually have to hook it up to the Porsche computer to read the oil, so it's a huge hassle. So thank you Volkswagen for that. Now we're gonna take off the oil filter cap. Here's what the oil filter looks like. It's uh, paper. It's pretty tiny because the motor is pretty tiny. <laughs> so then it goes back. Gets a new O-ring on there as well. Volkswagen calls for either 5W30 weight oil or 5W40. 5 is the cold temperature viscosity and the 30 and the 40 are the warm weather. So we're going to go with the 540. It just gives us a wider range of temperatures. And I don't put a ton of miles on this car, so I change oil every 5,000 miles. So I probably won't change it until the spring or the beginning of the summer. So the 540 will work better in the warmer weather, so we're gonna go with the 540. Because we sucked the oil out, because we didn't drain it underneath, like I said, it's a composite, like a plastic oil pan. It's a one-time use uh, drain plug, so it's easier to suck the oil out. We don't have to put new parts on the car. We actually don't have to put the car in the air. You can do everything on the ground, so it actually makes it easy if you have an evacuating machine at your house and you have an airline, 
you can do this on the ground. You don't need to jack the car up or put on a lift. Refilling the six quarts of 540 synthetic oil. It's Motul 8100. Same vented synthetic oil. I actually put Motul, it's 10W60 in my E46 M3 because at least when the car was new in 2001, the only 1060 was from BMW, from the dealer, and it was super expensive. And then finally, a few years later, Motul came out with 10W60. So then I started using the Motul in the E46 M3, so we're going to use it in the GTI as well. We put oil in the car, and now we're just, we started it up. We're just checking it again to make sure the level's right. Kevin thinks my car was a little low, so it's my fault for not checking it too regularly. Uh, so he said he put exactly six quarts fit in there, so that's what Volkswagen recommends. So obviously the evacuator did its job and pulled all the oil out. That's it. Pretty simple on the GTI. We didn't have to put it up in the air. The oil filter's in there. Oil's in. We'll just put the plastic engine cover back on, and, and that's how you change the oil in the Mark 7 GTI. This is Kev McConnell, the owner of the Porsche Specialist, so he's just going to give a brief background of his history and talk a little bit about the shop. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I come from a, just a Porsche background. Like, my dad uh, has a 356, he's owned it since 1969, still owns it. Um, you know, I started working at a Porsche independent shop. Uh, I went there for eighth grade career day, started working there as soon as I graduated from high school, took a brief break, went to college for a little while and decided, you know, this is what I really love to do. So, um, yeah, I, I worked at that independent shop for a few years, got married, uh, you know, financial reasons. I uh, went to the dealership, uh, when I, at that time I was living in Denver. Um, Worked at that dealer for, I guess, six or seven years. Uh, moved to Pennsylvania, worked at the dealer here for another six or seven years. Um, left there, opened this shop in 2009. So we're coming up on 10 years. Um, yeah, when I started here, there was actually two shops in this building. Um, I just rented one lift and, you know, we sort of built it from there. So now we got uh, myself, I have three guys that work for me. One guy, uh, Tom, that answers the phone. So two guys out here in the shop. Um, uh, one of the guys has pretty, you know, has, has a fair amount of Porsche experience, but really the, the people that I hired are more BMW, Audi, Mercedes guys, just because um, all my background was Porsche, so I figured it'd be good. Uh, you know, we have customers that ask us, hey, you know, you work on my 911, would you mind working on my BMW, my Mercedes? So, um, yeah, we sort of branched out more into that stuff, and, you know, you can look around the shop, I and mean, we do still a lot of Porsche, but... Um, you know, but yeah, we're definitely fans of pretty much anything European. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is it, yeah. All right, so I just want to thank Kevin for letting me come into the shop. Like I said, I've known him for a long time. We've done a lot of work together. We worked together at the, worked together at the Porsche dealership. Uh, when I had my business, uh, Kevin would do a lot of the installs, and then I actually came and worked in his shop for a little bit. So a uh, really good guy if you guys want to come check him out if you're in the philly area south jersey new york wherever maryland uh, i'll link his stuff down below his phone number and his website and you guys should definitely check him out so you guys can see here's another it's jonathan miller shirt this time in this turquoise if you guys like the merch let me know we'll have those up for sale soon and let me know what colors you're interested in right now i've shown you the blue and the yellow which i think are pretty nice so let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I'm going to do a little walk around the shop right now just to see what's in here right now. All 911s. I mean, all Porsche. So we'll start with this uh, 928 here. We've got a 996 Carrera 4 cab. We've got a 968 cab. Probably the gem in here right now is a 993 C4S. So C4S has the same running gear wide body as the 993 Turbo. It just does not have the turbo motor. But this car actually has the turbo wing on it. So when I walked in here, my mouth dropped. I thought it was a 993 Turbo, but it's a look-alike, but it's still very, very valuable, very uh, rare. These cars are going for good money. Up on the lift, 
another 996 Carrera. Interesting car. Here is the 993 Targa. So it's basically the Targa on the 993 is a big center. So this piece will go down over there. We've got a 997 Turbo Convertible. Obviously my GTI. We've got a Lapis Blue 996 Carrera 4. And then this beautiful, I believe it is for sale. I'll put the link down below as well. 991 Carrera S manual transmission. Once again, if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and hit that bell to be notified when new videos are available. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a quick look at an oil change on my GTI. If this is something you guys like to see, please comment below. If you want to see more you know, DIY, more mechanical, uh, me coming to the shop and looking at cars on lifts, etc., let me know below. I think it's pretty neat. Um, it's something you don't see every day. And to especially get this first-hand experience with such a qualified professional is really great. So let me know down below what you think. Appreciate you guys watching. Take care and drive safe.